Okay, so this video is going to show you how to make a uh, easy fit for the michaelis menten curve in kaleidograph. So what we do is we have to have uh, some data. So if we have some data here, let's say <clears throat> this is our data right here. All right, and let's say that this data relates concentration of substrate. All right, so I'm going to say concentration of the substrate there. And this is the, the rate of the reaction. Right. So I can uh, get this data, copy it, and then paste it into Kaleidograph here. Control V. Oops. There. Control V. There we go. Paste it into Kaleidograph. <clears throat> so again, my concentration of substrate, my rate data here. All right. And now I want to go to gallery and I want to create a, a scatter plot. And when I go into this and I create a scatter plot, then x my a con, uh, my substrate concentration is going to be on my x value the rate is going to be on the y value um, i want to go in or i could say new plot now you notice that when you do that th this value here this time is 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 correct in terms of its relationship sometimes uh, if you go in here and you double click right here no you uh, right click oh okay so getting a little trouble with my right click menu it shows up there we go I double click on it double click right here and you have a data type you have to make sure this is set for float for a um, for B it's also going to be float but if it's not then it'll kind of treat this not as a, uh, a relationship between these numbers but just uh, numbered um, sets of, of measurements so it won't separate these out according to the, the values it'll just kind of give them numbers so here I can see that this is 6 and 12 is twice as far as 6 this is uh, 3 and 6 is twice as far as 3 right so we're linearly relating or showing the concentration here on the x-axis all right now I'm going to want to uh, add a fit. So I go into Curve Fit General, and I go into Edit General. If I haven't done this already, now we'll have already done this. Uh, whoops, New Fit or New Fit right here. I'm going to call it uh, Capital MM. All right, and what that's going to do is going to allow me so when I go to curve fit in general I can choose mm which we're going to say is Michaelis Menten this this uh, box comes up this window comes up and now I'm going to go into define all right now we have to write the equation that we want to fit this data to now we I have it such that let's go back to where we were for us in 25 degrees here, or, uh, 25 Celsius run one, I ha we have this equation written in kaleidograph style, so I can just copy and paste it. If not, you, if you don't remember what it is, you can just look at it there and, and write it, type it in right now. M0 represents the substrate concentration, all right, so that's our x-axis. M1 represents our uh, V max, so the maximum velocity up here. M2 represents our Km, or the concentration down here at half maximum velocity. All right. And then after we write in our Michaelis equation here, which is substrate times V max over substrate plus Km, Right, then we have to put in some guesses, some initial starts for our different variables, our um, Vmax and our Km. All right, so we separate this with a, a colon here. Um, we separate the first guess with a colon from the second guess. And in here I can put values that it looks like could be correct. So again, the point at which this seems to saturate, you know, maybe 0.0024. I can type that into here, and then the point at which halfway 
half saturation, so maybe saturation is me, right, is going to be about reached about here. So, um, oh, no, 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 sorry. The concentration at which um, half of Vmax is reached. So we're reaching Vmax 0 0.0025 or 0 0.0026. So if we go down to 0 0.0013, which is half of that, 0 0.0013, that's right about here. And so it would be maybe about 2.1 or something like that. So I could type in here the, again, the concentration necessary to reach half of Vmax. All right, so once I have that in, I push OK. And I go back here, so that was all under define, right? And then I go and click on this box here, and then I say OK. And then it does the fit for me, and it spits out in the M1 value here our Vmax, M2 value here our Km, all right? The units for this Vmax will be whatever units you put in here, so you'll want to make sure that they are appropriate. Okay, so that is how we fit the data using Kaleidograph.